so now let's talk about sensory adaptation. And I want to first define, uh, before jumping into sensory adaptation, I want to define a term called habituation. Um, and we'll just put this versus sensory. Th these two terms people would also kind of use interchangeably, uh, but they are different as well. So habituation is dealing with the tendency of our ears to sort of tune out, so to speak, different sounds that are constant. And the whole reason for habituation and also sensory adaptation is constant stimuli are not very important is what the brain basically is processing. What the brain is saying is more important is changing stimuli. So a couple examples of habituation would be listening to an air conditioner or a fan that's constant. Right, where so the, the the stimuli are still, uh, you know, the receptors are still sending the stimulus to the brain, but it's not being sent to the cortex to be processed. Um, and again, this is the tendency of the brain to do this with the ears. So this is with hearing. Okay, but now with sensory adaptation. Now this is what we're talking about with taste, uh, touch smell, um, vision. So different, different examples of sensory adaptation. Um, and first of all, this, this is different from habituation in the sense that sensory adaptation are, these sensory receptors are actually not, they're being less responsive. So they're actually not even sending the stimuli to the brain to be processed. Whereas here, like I said, it is being sent to the brain. Here it's not. These are becoming less responsive. And again, this is because the, the brain wants to pay attention to stimuli that's more important. So example of taste, if you remember eating like a very hot meal at the very beginning or a spicy meal, it's, it's very hot at the very beginning, but your, your, your taste, sense, taste receptors tend to adapt to that. And it doesn't, it's not as spicy anymore as touch. You know, it would drive you nuts if, if the whole time you were actually realize, you were constantly realizing that you had clothes on, um, you know, but Sometimes you don't realize you have clothes on or have a hat on or whatever. And um, you know, that's because your, your, your touch receptors are being less responsive. And smell, vision, you know, kind of the same thing there. Your eyes are adapting to certain you know, bright or, or dark smell. If you think of smelling a stinky garbage can, at the very beginning, once you walk near it, it smells really bad. But if you have to do some work and throw in some different bags of garbage, uh, you, know, you tend to kind of get used to that smell. So, so again, habituation, dealing just with hearing, sensory adaptation with these four senses here.